Whew. Yeah. So we're going to be getting into it. Grand Finals of doubles at, doubles at Shockwave. Doubles. doubles. Man, I've been super bad with my words today. Words are hard, man. Grand Finals of doubles at Shockwave number 93. We have the BBS Bros, Army and Curry versus SS Austin and Disco Bunny. All right, so Sonic and Ness. No, uh, it's going to be a Sonic, Mega Man, and Ness and Diddy Kong. Yeah, the, the brother's definitely going to be riding hard off of that last very convincing final game of Losers Finals. Uh, that Sonic Mega Man team looking so solid, possibly the answer they need. And this is Curry's chance at redemption for what happened in Winners Finals right. with this Sonic. And I don't think I don't think this is a team composition that uh, Disco and Austin have seen yet. Yeah. So uh, it, it's a really good mix-up opportunity as well. Yeah, but Disco also playing the character Sonic. The, the reason that that whole Winners Finals situation could have possibly happened is because he knows the character so well already, positioning Sonic off to the right side of the stage and coming in and try to get what they try to exactly the situation in winners finals actually they would position curry away from army and start racking up all his percent onto army and that's what they don't need to put yeah. themselves in again they do not need a replay of the final game of winners finals yeah, you're and, right. and we're seeing exactly that yeah, it, it definitely is uh moments feelings of deja vu watching this set uh, unwind so far and it's only the beginning a hefty percent advantage for red and that knockdown from the peel will allow the F smash to connect. Oh, I thought that there was a chance that uh, that Curry would actually be able to shield, but just that last hit sneaking through. Yeah, we're, we're kind of seeing, I, 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 from lack of a better word, or, or sad to say it, but it's almost like Curry's falling apart compared to his previous abilities in the, in the loser's final set that we just watched. Army, Army, on the other hand, still playing strong, exactly like we saw in the winner's finals. He was so good at. Uh, positioning himself to where he's able to take these stocks consistently, even with uh, the way that red team is playing uh, the matchup. And I, I, it is certainly worth noting that Disco knows this matchup very well. He himself uh, having a Sonic that he plays quite often. All right, Austin in a great job to take the stock. Did I'm not really sure how uh, how, how Curry survived that. Yeah, or how, not, how yeah. Army survived. Yeah, yeah I mean, how did Army follow that? But he's not going to survive that back throw. Uh, red team. And a phenomenal lead right now. Almost again a repeat of winner's final. So many deja vu moments happening here. Somebody must have amnesia because I'm seeing far too much of what was happening in the last game. Oh, definitely. And oh, that's something that we didn't see. It's Army now maybe breaking underneath the pressure. Not able to make the recovery he's looking for. And this is an absolute beatdown for this wow. first game of Grand Finals. Wow, an answer back from Curry finally, but is it too little too late? The blue team on their last legs, the red team sitting comfortably on two stocks. We're gonna be trying to take a stock from Ness. Oh my gosh, he overextended. Ness is dead, but so is he. And Mega Man is put in a 2v1 situation. The red team and a, is probably gonna take game one. Wow, I just, its this is not the blue team that I saw in the last game. It's just not the blue team I saw in the last game. It just seems that the red team just has their number when it comes to these, these 2v1 situations, positioning themselves to where they can start being so aggressive towards one of the brothers at any given moment. And then the other one's just not able to answer. But I, I really think in this game too that Curry's gonna need to, to not play Sonic. I just, I just don't think yeah, that that's the character. I'm feeling cloud, man. Yeah, I just don't think that's the character that, that in this cloud. matchup is gonna work. Cause they, both times, winners finals game three, this game one, that Sonic has just gotten completely destroyed yeah. early, and it's it's just not what they need. They, and it, it, we when we looked at the at the last game, yeah, a big part of uh, why they're able to take. Uh, losers finals was because they would set up for these 2v1 situations, right? Yeah. You'd have one of the opponents off the stage and it's just army, curry, and some poor sap in the middle of all of that chaos. <laughs> exactly. But what we see instead is the complete opposite where they're the ones who are losing most of the exchanges in neutral. They're being forced off stage and it's Austin and Disco who are just taking them for a ride. Yeah. And and in most cases it's been it's been curry getting taken off the stage and then army is just taken for a ride. He's done such a really good, he's done a good job of um, of contesting the sandwich that he's been put in and able to find stocks here and there. But what's really going to matter is if these the blue team can come together and like and synergize better. Well, what we see in other games when they're playing other teams, they're able to put themselves in a position that the red team. Oh my God, Disco! Please, 
What a monster. That was the opening seconds of the game. And when you're down uh, in grand finals, you definitely don't want that to happen. I'm just going to shut up. I'm just going to shut up. Wow. Okay. So Curry. Ooh, that footstool. Curry coming back from a fairly early stop. Putting himself in his and back off stage. Disco Bunny is just so content with staying there and putting out his strong down air. Normally, people wouldn't want to contest um, a cloud below because that up air is so intimidating. But Disco Bunny having none of it doesn't even care. He knows that he's conditioned Curry to be afraid of him while he's in these positions. While he's forced to recover, Disco not giving him any breathing room whatsoever. However, Army telling that, uh, Austin to get right off of him, taking that first stop. Curry once again caught in the offset position. It's getting saved. Oh my gosh, Army. Yeah. It, it was terrifying. And yeah. just, just understanding that if you had gone for for uh, the ledge too early, your teammate could have gotten PK Thunder too. Yeah, it's terrifying. Curry now on his last stock. Maybe the last stock we'll see him play uh, in doubles tonight. As Curry uh, is unable to save his teammate, Army, from uh, having a stock loss as well. Curry finally able to answer back to Disco Bunny. Two stocks Disco Bunny has taken from Army. Finally, one has been taken in return. Let's see if this is the beginning of many stocks to come. Or if, like you alluded to, this will be Curry's last stock of doubles. Quite possibly. Limit is charged. That is the game changer here. All right. He's trying to play so patiently with it. Caught at the ledge, though. Ends up going for a back air instead and surprises Austin. Right, they brought this game back so quickly. It seemed like it's like possibly the red team had the blue team's number in this case. The blue team is bringing it back. A bit of friendly fire off the stage. All right, I love the way he was able to jump above and then angle that down air to where he can recover safely. That is what he needs to start doing more often. He can't find himself into these low stage positions off the stage. So he's able to get punished. Seeing just a little bit of friendly fire left and right. Monkey flip sending Curry off stage, but he still has the limit. This last stock, he's dashing around trying to figure out his opportunity. Austin finds it first. He gets the back throw to set up for that clean KO oh. onto Army. And Burns now, last stock. Last stock for blue. Ooh, oh, how did he it. survive? But that's he ends it. up throwing it away instead. Oh, now, Army has to somehow come back from this massive deficit. He does have that purple pigment with that KO potential, but how long can he hang on to it? Out of the picture? Oh, man. Oh. Okay, down smash. All right, he's got the positioning. Ooh, but then sent right back into this sandwich uh, formation that we've been seeing like every double team do so far in this top eight. They've been able to get positions to where they can just knock the opponents back and forth, back and forth, and then finally take that stock. Wow, unorthodox. But Disco, he makes it work. Curry, oh wow. my god, Army! He's living! What on what? earth happened? Army <laughs> in the entire exchange was the only person who didn't what? die from that. What? There's, there's, Zan, there's, there's absolutely no, no way. way you can do this, right? No way. I mean, I mean, 112% deficit. He's racking up 37. There's no way. The mountain's being climbed. <gasps> oh, Wait. he misses up, confirm. Yes. All right. That was purple. All right. So now Army, oh, I had to control the banana peel for a moment. I thought he was just going to linger onto it a bit longer. <laughs> and wow, that pick was like, hey, no banana for you, but wow, um, Disco, another beautiful call out to take grand finals. Right, he had the real estate. He was like, you know what? I don't have to approach you. You have everything to lose here. If you roll, I'm here. And so he was. If you do anything else, I can react to that because I'm Diddy Kong and I have amazing aerials. But in that situation, we're going to have a replay of that crazy shenanigans. Oh, my God. How? So what I think how? happened there was Diddy hit Army. And then he got down aired by Ness. Wait, that wasn't a down air. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Yeah. No, yeah. I, th I think it, I think the down air happens first. Yes. Yeah, so it's like the, the explosion of the barrels, like recess and knockback, something. Yes. Yeah, something crazy. But anyway, Army was living. He almost had the the comeback of the century. Yeah, I, I would have thrown my headset off and popped off. Yeah. Like, that was. That was went out a Jai Ho or seven. I don't oh know, man. man. It would have been crazy. That was crazy. But but still, BBSM brothers coming in, yeah. taking a very strong second place and almost an insane comeback. Jesus, I can't, yeah. I can't do it, man. The Austin Disco team has just been too strong. I I'm not sure if uh, they dropped the set to the brothers. Actually, they did drop one set. Never mind. I'm in mean, one game to the to the brothers. But I don't. They didn't drop a single set the entire uh, the entire doubles bracket. So That's strong. Right. We may see them team together more often in the future.
That that team comp is looking absolutely insane. Yeah, it's looking fierce. Yeah. I'm excited to see more of that double team. Anyways, break time for me. I'm going to hop off the mic for uh, a minute. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, keep it locked on T-Lock. Yeah. We'll be back with uh, some singles action in a moment. Yeah, we get to see uh, pretty late in the singles bracket, at least like midway. Uh, people have been playing, so some awesome matches are going to be coming up pretty soon. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah, I will. I will. I am, I'm probably going to head out soon too. But uh, we're gonna. <laughs> I want to join my buddy Ecclepot here, though. Are you? Uh, I mean, I can go for a little bit longer. No. Yeah. You kick me out later. Bro, give me the dude. Is it I'm I mean I mean you know, I'm I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do like one or two. I just want to get one single match in. At least I'm gonna get one single match in at least and then like I'll I'll probably like hop off. What time is it? Yeah, it's like eleven it's almost a twelve, man. I gotta go to work in the morning. It's almost twelve dude, it's eleven thirty. Right? Devil's just ended. Devil's just ended. It's It's crazy. Okay, that's that's what I do. All right, but yeah, guys. We're about to Hi. Get some singles action. I'm joined here by my lovely pal, Mr. Elkopod. How are this you doing? Me lovely. Now I feel lovely. Thank you. I mean, I mean, I I want to make you feel as good as possible because who doesn't like feeling good? I appreciate it. All right, but um, yeah, dude. It's it's been a while since I've been out. I, I'm happy to come back and see all the all the familiar faces and a couple of new ones. Um, but um. Why don't you tell me a bit about like what I missed for in the singles life? We just like this crazy doubles action going on for the last couple hours. Or so yeah, well in the singles life, we, last week we just saw. Uh, well, maybe it wasn't last week. I've been really busy because I've been out of state really? for a while okay. recently as well. But um, but uh, it was either last week or the week before. Cosmic yeah. Cosmos came back, took everybody's souls again as usual. <laughs> I mean, that man is crazy. He is yeah. really good at what he does. He is, he's amazing. As uh, as we saw in doubles, he didn't make it. The grand finals, but he did an amazing placing with Gibbous, uh, and I, I'm excited to see him uh, with all of these out of staters. Karna being here, that's the big, the big where everyone's looking. Not out to. of state, but out of area. Well, out of area, but like it, we're, we're, everyone's looking forward to Karna versus Cosmos because that's what they think grand finals is going to be. But I'm excited to see possible upsets, possible you know outcomes because in doubles, our top two seeds weren't even in grand finals. Yeah, and um, it would it would almost be disappointing if it wasn't a Cosmos if Cosmos and Karna didn't play at least once tonight. Yeah, exa I mean I, I I doubt that they won't. Karna, a phenomenal player. Um, fun fact: every time Karna and I play, we always go to game three. But I. Always